So now, now that we have just like caught up on life, let's just do a, a follow up on our religious development. So you have been mm-hmm. hiding for a while, but it's good to finally get you on. Hiding is not, well, busy. Let's just say it's busy. Yeah. Well, life is busy. That's true. That's true. So what's the plan? So basically, you know, what I say, like, if, uh, you know, when we originally met up and uh, were following up, I think one of the key thing is to have some sort of uh, activity during your day that kind of reminds you of God, keep you connected with God, you know, inspires you, motivates you, right? And it's different for different people, right? You know, you could do, be doing courses, videos, reading, uh, something that would remind you of God, right? And push you towards, hey, you know what? I want to submit. I want to know what God wants me to do and so on and so forth, right? So Alhamdulillah, I think last Friday, I think two Fridays ago, you started the Friday prayer. So that's a good progress, right? Mm-hmm. So how, yeah. do you, would you be able to do that? Or how, how is the work situation around that at the moment? Work is getting better where I'm able to leave at one o'clock. Okay. And there's a there's a mosque that's not too far away from work. Okay. Um, that unfortunately, uh, one of the first days, it just happened to be I had to stay over because of some nonsense. It's like, can you stick around? I'm like, really? Today? <laughs> All the other days this week, I finished at one o'clock, but today, today you want me to stay till two o'clock? You know, what are you gonna tell your boss, right? Okay, I'll stay, right? So that was kind of like, you know, it makes you think, what makes you scratch your head. And then, you know, so I'm like, okay, I'm going to miss out. But apparently they have a second one. Exactly, at yeah. About, at about 2.30, which I didn't realize. So that's, you know, that's going to oh, open for inshallah uh, Friday, right? Yeah, so now you have a backup yeah. plan. What kind of a backup plan can I have? No, 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 I'm, no, I'm saying that don't, if, even if you don't make it to the first one, you can have the second one. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make this for sure. I'm going to get out by 1 o'clock for sure. Like, I'm okay. not going to stop playing around. Okay. You know, I bust my hump to uh, to get stuff done so I could leave uh, on time. So the, the Friday makes no difference. There's plenty of people who could, I'm one person, and there's two or three people that cover for me in the afternoon to do my job. Fantastic. You know, three, people can't, three people can't cover one guy? Come on. Fantastic. So okay. that's being said uh, and done. Now, um, the one thing I do, I'm concerned with is uh, now my fiance, you know, she's very much, um, she, what, what's the word? We had a conversation a couple of days ago and uh, she's really wanting um, my progress to um, speed up, escalate. Yeah, is the word, right? Mm-hmm. And I, you know, I understand. Like, when's the last time you read your Quran? You know, like, well, I listened to it. I listened to it on uh, on audiobook in, in the car. Um, actually, it's 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 not just the Quran. It's actually uh, it's it's the Quran, but it's like a study Bible, mm-hmm. but it's it's audio form. So they read the verse and they explain everything. So it takes like three times the amount of time to listen to it. And I'm also reading up on the history of of Islam. With the prophet and the caliphs and so on so i'm getting up to there so i'm like on on right now in that book i'm up to um um ali nice very nice which which book is that uh i would have to go into my uh uh, audio book to to find out but it's like the history of it's it's like 25 hours worth of you know what i can i'll I'll, uh once we finish i'll I'll forward to you the uh, the book absolutely yeah that would be good Thank Pretty you. good. Like, you know, I was skeptical, but it's by a Muslim. Um, and I think it's very good for not just people who are um, reverts like myself, converts, whatever word you want to use, uh, but also just people who have, want to have an understanding. I think it's not too complex. And it gives you, uh, you know, from beginning to all the way to the Ottoman Empire and so on, right? So it gives you like a thorough history uh, 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 of what. You know how Islam started and its development over you know the Ummah and all that, and Medina and how it was Medina that went to Mecca and you know the, the significance of Jerusalem and you know very in depth. And I think like as a as a former uh, as a, a former Christian, I think that uh, uh, our perception, our understanding of Islam is very minute. Okay, it's very small minutia. Uh, like I had no idea uh, of the complexity of, of the religion, right? And this, uh, and and, and, the, and the, the, I think the most significant thing that, that 
is not understood is outside of the uh, the debate of in regards to the Trinity, mm -hmm. and, and specifically, if you if you were to take Paul, Saint Paul, out of the equation, I think that we would be where we are today, or where I am today. Yep. I think from there on, right? And so that understanding is not there, and that opens your mind up, saying, okay, I didn't learn a, a lot of lies, but I have to filter this now through the Quran, right? True. And uh, so that helps. But like I was saying, with in regards to my development, my fiance, uh, you know, she's like, once we get married, you know, now that I'm going to be supervised, right? Mm. <laughs> and like do things as a couple, and that's going to be one of the things that. Um, uh, you know, we're going to try and do together, uh, read together, uh, pray together, you know, um, and um, and hopefully be able to go to uh, and go worship together, right? Fantastic. Uh, so I want to find a, a mosque within our area that is conducive to that. Yeah, so, so it's um, not that you were, that we met at, right? So that's not too far from you. Well, I'm going to be living in Brampton. So I was trying to hope. I was hoping to find something similar to that. Oh, sure. In, in Brampton. So if you if you send me your major up. intersection, I'll I'll look up something for you. And is that are you moving in December or like from yeah, December? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Married, move in. All right. So I think yeah, I'm gonna make it an action point to on and put it on on the WhatsApp so to find a new place for you in, close to your new place. Right. Uh, so have you found a place yet or no? You have to right because you October. So you probably have to sign a lease now, right? Almost. No, no. She has her own apartment. Oh, she okay. For us, uh, it costs less than mine. Okay. <laughs> right, and um, and uh, she. Uh, okay. Good. How do you do that? I'm. I can't. I'm on the phone, and you're. Sending the no, no, because oh, I'm on my oh. computer, right? So the message. Oh, oh okay, so I just okay. type on the phone. Okay. So, yeah. um, and and also she has her son with us, okay, right? He's, he's, living, he's gonna be living with us, and he's well, he'll be 21 soon. Okay, nice. And, you know, he's also, he's a good kid, and he's a, he's a strong believer. Okay. So, know? so to... But, but, he ain't praying five times a day. So you're going you're to be the boss, man. Right? You're going to lead him to... He ain't going to mosque, right? You yeah. know what I mean? So, like, kind of in the same boat, in, in a way, right? Um, so, it, like, I think to do things as a family, uh, Islamically. Um, I have gone to uh, the bookstore in Toronto that uh, that you uh, sent me the link to. Um, Habib, it'll be called Points Back. Yeah, and I, I got uh, I got a couple books to one on the Sunnah, mm -hmm. so I get to understand that one on marriage, um, and one on prayer. So okay. I have some. That's uh, so resources. Uh, that was good for the library, and um, you know. Okay. Has my Arabic got better? Probably not. No, no. So, 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 did, did you but do any of the? We've taught, sorry. Did you do any of the new Muslim Academy courses yet, or like, did you make progress there, or? I haven't uh, lately. No. Okay, so that's no. what I'm saying. Let's set some baby steps that work for you, right? Whether it be reading. So it depends. So if you if if those new Muslim Academy online video courses that work for you. We can set some goals for that, but if that's not the best option for you, then we can focus on reading. If not, then we can, even now you have like six weeks, what, six weeks till you get married. You know, maybe you can visit, you know. Is it six weeks? No? <laughs> yeah, it's getting close, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, we're getting closer. So you can maybe start yeah. visiting someone in person, maybe at Isna or someone closer, and then, you know, kind of practice a bit on prayers, or we can do the WhatsApp prayer thing that we started. Mm, yeah, yeah. So I'm just saying that yeah. you 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 figure out something that like even if it's like you know small amount of commitment, let's be consistent with that because we haven't made progress on that WhatsApp prayer group. Um, New Muslim Academy, I think it's a good one, but if it's not if it doesn't fit your learning style, we can you know switch to YouTube or books, right? Yeah, I'm, well, I like um, I like lectures. Okay. I like to you know sit there and write notes. So why don't why don't we com complete New Muslim Academy course on introduction to Islam and introduction to faith before you get married? How's that? So you know I mean I'm gonna come for your nikah. I'm gonna say hey, so did you complete introduction to Islam and, and introduction to worship? No. All right, let's wait till you complete that and then read. I'm gonna pause this, everyone.
give him half an hour. These are quick little videos. You can do the tests. Exactly. You know, what about cutting weight for a fight? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, but no, okay. We that's that's a, that's an achievable goal. They're not very long. Yeah, so let's you know? let's at least complete those two courses. Let's just keep me posted at the week end of the week, and uh, and and let's try to see if you can get to you know five prayers on your own, right? Because ev now everything is so you know tight, meaning that you can complete everything before your bedtime, and you're an early riser anyway, so there shouldn't be any issue, right? But I'm saying at the end of the day, at least let's. So ask yourself at the end of the day, hey, how many meetings did I do today with God? Right, the proper, like, you know, the salah meeting, the prayer meeting. And, and throw in a number, you know, sometimes just asking the question, you know, helps us focus, right? You know, as I say, you know, where focus is, energy flows, right? So if you even ask yourself, hey, was it like five today, four today, three today? It will help, you know, kind of have it in the focus and then see, okay, why am I not making five, right? You know, I have everything, I have food, I have energy, I have everything, job. Let me see if I can make five prayers. And my, and your job is, you know, good that you, you're not, you're not, you don't even have conflicting hours anymore. True, true. Well, uh, for, for four out of five, yeah, there's no confliction, what's, uh, conflict whatsoever. Yeah, and in the morning uh, prayer, you can do it at work, right? So between what, five, uh, so it starts at what time, like 5.30ish and 7.20, something like that? 5.45 or something? Yeah. You know that's yeah, fine. Five, five minutes to go out of yeah, my, uh, so that should not be a problem. So, so okay, so Emily, let's commit to it. Like you know, give me like let's just do a daily posting on the WhatsApp group, okay? On and how, okay. okay, how we made progress. I'm gonna write that down there, and then New Muslim Academy, and uh, yeah. So, so prayer learning, you know. So right now, remember we we wrote down Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, wa la ilaha illallah, wa Allahu Akbar. How's that going? Because once that's done, then we were going to add one line every week so you can start yeah, making to the full. Uh, Subhanallah, uh, Akbar, Alhamdulillah. Now that other one, Wahalilah. <laughs> Wala? That, one is still, that one's still like tongue tie on that one. But, but you haven't practiced it at all, have you? Yeah, it's true. Yeah, right? No, well, so no, not, not, so not if you were to read it really five right. times, at least, even if you were to attempt five times a day, you're going to be mm -hmm. fine in a week. And then we can add something yeah. else. Right. Yeah, well, here's a here's the challenge I didn't tell you about. So we went out to dinner uh, with one of her sisters mm -hmm. uh, the other day, and she goes, uh, uh, she's helping with the planning of the wedding. So we have that that extra room, mm -hmm. right? And that's where I told you before. That's where the prayer is, you know, for for prayer and such, right? Because yeah. I think for, through the wedding we're gonna have four out of five, right? Right. Maybe during the during during the reception, and she's like, "So you're gonna leave, right?" I'm like, "Pardon." Ooh. She's like, well, you're the man. You have to lead. Yeah. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. I go, I go, yeah, your older brother. It's like, I gotta get, I gotta respect them. And they're like, so it's like a little shot of me going, you know, like, just like you, you know what I mean? Like, just look it out for me and, and, and get me, you know. That's good. That's that's very good. I mean, so it kind of fits with the with the video I made yesterday. Does it make sense to marry a non-Muslim, right? So there you go. In your case, fantastic, yeah. fantastic point. Yeah, we, that was like one of our first conversations, actually. Exactly. Was, yeah. That was the first thing you taught me. Yeah. Yeah. Was um, is it is it okay? Uh, you know, do you want to take it to Australia or do you want to take it? To, uh, what was it? Yeah. Iraq. I yeah. saw that yesterday. Yes. Yeah. Very good. All right. So so let's make it happen, man. So every day, let's practice that. You know. So hopefully by Sunday or Monday, I think you will be you'll take care of this five phrases. Then we'll add one more. To be honest, I think by your your wedding, you can actually get the prayers done. Because even if you do like two or three lines a week, we can cover a lot by your wedding. Six weeks, we can cover a lot, inshallah. Okay. I'll, go one, uh, I'll go one step uh, better. Okay. I'll also uh, text you uh, just between our, uh, not the prayer one, but our personal one. Okay. Uh, what, I, what I've read in the Quran. Okay. What, what verses I've read. Fantastic. So let's read at least one or two verses on our call. And you want to pick something random for a Muslim pro or something? Uh, I can't use a phone and do video at the same time, but I will get my Quran. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Okay. My basement's dark, so that's why I'm outside. Oh, so, okay. Uh, <laughs> so the light, and I got the, I got, this is not the one you gave me, but this is one of the, the gifts I got. Did you like this translation, though, or? It's pretty simple. It's not that difficult to read. Okay. Yeah, uh, I was taught a lesson. Uh, here's something. So, uh, back in my uh, you know my ministry days, 
uh, when I would go through my Bible, I would do things like this. Oh, okay, nice. And uh, I was told that's uh, not right. No, 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 no. For, well, first of all, like even on regular, Quran, first of all, this is not a Quran. Well, it's a, it's a transliteration. <laughs> Yeah, so, so so any any rule about the Quran does not apply to this book first and foremost, right? And then okay. and then the second thing, can you do it on a Quran like actual actual Arabic Quran? Or not that's even like you know a point of discussion. But anyway, so it does not apply here at all. So you know the all the you can mark it up. yeah, absolutely, you can mark it up. You can write oh. down things, no problem, because this is a study book. It's not it's not the actual Arabic text. Semantics. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well. Um. What about chapter three? The the family of the Imran. Okay. Um. First couple of verses, I gather. All so right. In the name of God, the most gracious, the most merciful. Mm -hmm. uh, verse one is Alif Lam Mim. Yeah. So if you remember, what does that mean? Yeah, so, so some of the chapters start with letters, right? So it's basically, it's, it's, it is like saying A-L-M, okay. right? So there's, so, so there's a couple of different connotations to that. Number one is that we don't know what that means, right? So that kind of shows that, look, you don't know everything. So A-L-M, for example, it doesn't, like, it, it's not a word of the language. It's just the letters, okay. right? But at the same time, even though we don't know what that means, you are still rewarded for reciting the letters that God gave. That's second. Gotcha. Number three, okay. some of the scholars say that this is an indication, and Allah knows best. I mean, we don't have a you know, narration from the Prophet about this, but it's a, it's a contemplation, it's a reflection that some of the scholars have that, you know what, um, this kind of shows that, look, this book that you are reading is from the same same letters that you human beings, you Arabs speak, right? So if it's a human book, then you can use the same letters and you can come up with a book that is so profound and so powerful and so miraculous like Quran, but you can't. Okay? So that's a reflection that some of the scholars have. You know, it's not it's not something, you know, uh, it's not a divine thing, right? That's one of the reflections that people of knowledge have. Okay? So let's continue. Uh, God. There is no deity save him living, the sustainer. He has sent down the book to you with truth, which fulfills the predictions and the scriptures that preceded it. He sent down the Torah and the gospel in the past as guidance for mankind. Right. He has also sent down the standard by which to discern the true from the false. Surely those who deny God's signs will suffer severe punishment. God is mighty and capable of retribution. So that's up to four. Okay, so let's just do one more. Uh, nothing on earth or in the heavens is hidden from God. Okay. It is he who shapes up you in the womb as he wills. There is no deity save him, the mighty, the wise one. Okay, good. So, so let, let's see what, what lessons we can drive from that. Any reflections, anything that, like any practical benefits. So we want to think about like what practical benefits that you can drive from an emotional perspective, mindset perspective. You know, knowing God perspective. So, so share with me. Well, you know, uh, here it is God sent down the book uh, to you with truth, which fulfills the predictions in the scriptures that preceded it. He sent down the Torah and the gospel uh, in the past, the guidance for mankind. So, God, since the very beginning, has been communicating with us to let us know His will. And his desire for mankind, right? But it also gives me uh, the idea that, unfortunately, those past uh, books have not gone the way uh, that not, not fulfilled his his desire. So this is his final. Um, this the, the the Quran is his final word to us. He's finished. He's done. Right? Yeah. So he will, now, he, will, he will preserve that. So it's not it's not going to be tampered or will, will be available to the end of right. Because of the, it sounds like the last ones were corrupted in some way, shape, or form. Correct. Right. Okay. And uh, my, uh, 
And it, it also gives you a lot of information about God himself. So if you look at the second verse, it says, look, Allah, first of all, there's no one worthy of worship except him. And he is Al-Hay and Al-Qayyum, which means that he is the ever living. He has a perfect life. He has no deficiency in his life. Uh, and he is the one who establishes everyone else. So he's self-sufficient and everybody else depends on him for their own sufficiency. Right. Okay. And then it also talks about that, look, you know, at the end of the day, God is merciful, but God is also able to take retribution and he will yes. establish justice. So he, he will, you know, uh, there is a painful torment for the ones who deny all his signs and deny his obedience, deny his submission and deny believing in him. Okay. And then at the end of verse number four, it gives two other qualities of God, that God is mighty that nothing can happen without the without the will of God. So nobody can take away your provision. Nobody can take away your wealth. Or nobody can give you wealth or or might or fame or status or power or health, except if God allows that to happen. At the same time, God is able to take retribution. So He is merciful, and forgiving, but is also able to establish justice and take retribution. And then finally, so and finally, but He's just. Yeah, He's just. Yeah. And, num and number fifth is that is basically he is nothing is hidden. So whatever we plan, whatever we do, whatever we hide is all apparent and clear to him. And from his uh, blessings is that he is the one who actually shapes us, right? So think about this: that you know, you're, if you and I are not random creation, and that is so beautiful and powerful because you know sometimes we, you know, many people think, oh, you know, am I worthy? Am I worthy of existence? And so on and so forth. But look, God chose to create you, and God chose you to exist in this time. 2018, 2019, whatever. So you're not. You're, that's uh, that's Jeremiah 29:11, in the in the in the, the the Old Testament. There you go. Well, yeah. So that's the thing. There's a lot of actually. Actually, that's beautiful, isn't it? Look what it says. Nazara alayka. Verse number two. So it confirms what was revealed before. There you go. That's perfect. Yeah, Jeremiah 20, 29, verse 11. Yes. So you. Which says, I I formed you in your mother's womb. I know every. I'm, I'm paraphrasing. I know every hair that's on your head. Right, like before you before you were even existed, I knew you. Okay. Right. Yep. And that's what it says here. Right. He was he's he who shapes you uh, in the womb as he wills. So you yeah. know we have we had no say. We have no say. Right. But yet he knows. Fantastic. Right. But we don't. So it's a mystery, a mystery of life. Right. Oh, yeah. So I'm gonna go for my afternoon prayer now, but so you perform your afternoon prayer as well, and let's 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 keep up this commitment, all right? Like on a daily basis, Absolutely. weekly basis, all right? Well, it was a pleasure Absolutely. catching up with you. You know, say, say my salam to Ayan, and you know, keep up the great work. I will. Uh, we'll oh, talk again. Yeah. Friday. No. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah. Oh, by okay. the way, we'll talk to you Friday. Okay, and. Uh, What's that? You know the open houses that Isna is having. So if you are free during that time, they have this. That's on the twelfth. I'm, I'm not sure of the exact that date. Weekend? That's this weekend, I think, yeah. Yeah, so if you're free, I think it will be good because there's going to be a lot of Christians coming in. You know, you having your own perspective would really help. And what's his name? Uh, Atik, has he, been, has he been in touch with you? He sent me a message regarding that, yeah. Yeah, he did send yeah. me a message. Yeah. If I wanted to volunteer, okay, I don't know if I want to volunteer, but I'll show up. Yeah, exactly, show up, right? I mean, yeah, so show up, coordinate with him if you like, if, or just show up, and I think that would be yeah. great to have you there. It'll be great. Yeah, well, are you going to be there? Um, uh, well, it's, it's a bit far away from me. Most likely, I won't be there. But you know, I, there will well, be other. Gotta, yeah, there will be other. We got to meet up uh, so I could give you something in your hand. You know, sure, I got to sure. give you your invite. Sure, sure. As well, so oh. and you have a have a coffee or something. Okay, fantastic. We'll, we'll make a plan then. Perfect. All right, so I'm going to go pray my uh, Asr prayer, the second afternoon one, and you do the same, and uh, talk to you soon. All right, take care. Salam. Maghusaam. Ciao.